uh, good evening to all i uh, in this session we are going to uh, discuss about windows server 2022 active directory domain services what is active directory services what is roles and uh, how to install active directory so step by step how to install active directory services i am going to uh, start uh, first let me uh, discuss about uh, concept of active directory domain services as you know on this session will be recording for uh, youtube channel and if you have any such questions so later you can ask the question i will uh, get you time right in that session uh, we'll have discussion what your doubt and uh, any problem okay so uh on cisco packet tracer i am going to explain you topology domain and uh, client okay uh, where we are going to install a server where we are going to install active directory domain services so first if you uh, you know any topic any services first you have to understand the topology and uh, the concept then you can define easily yourself if anybody asking you uh, what is active directory so first in your mind you should have uh, you know uh, a topology in your mind so according to the topology you can uh, describe easily for any services in windows server 2019 or 2022 okay so here uh, i am going to create a services here i'll take a switch and i'll take a server and different client here same network should be so this is the topology you can see here server and uh, here you can see these are the client machine okay and uh, in case of server if you want to make it server you have to install active directory domain services and before installing active directory services uh, this machine should uh, fulfill prerequisite to install active directory domain services so first prerequisite what should be the server operating system any windows server operating system like windows server 2008 r2 2012 2016 2019 or 2022 as well right so any as you know only active directory can be installed in server operating system right so any server operating system should be installed in this and static ip should be configured dns ip should be configured should be assigned then only you can assign active directory domain controller okay so here you can see i have assigned class aip 10.0.0.1 this is ip for this server and dns ip would be the same here in this machine i am going to install active directory as well as dns okay so both should be same in case of this client machine you can see ip here pc1 ip i have given 10.0.0.2 and dns ip should be same because uh, this is centralized database right so the same dns will be for entire environment domain environment okay so here pc2 client 2 you can see 10.0.0.3 and dns will be same so what scenario i am going to show you i am going to configure I am going to install Active Directory services on top of Windows Server 2022 and before that we should understand what is Active Directory okay okay before you starting definition of Active Directory first once you install Active Directory domain services a database will be created in this location the centralized database uh, the database name is NTDS the database name is ntds okay the 
this data will be uh, created in Active Directory Domain Services machine, this domain controller. Any local server, uh, some terminologies we need to understand here. Before installing Active Directory, if you install Windows Server operating system in any machine, that machine is called local server. Okay, so right now this machine is local server. Once you install Active Directory Domain Services, this will become domain controller. So anybody can ask you, what is domain controller? So your answer will be, a computer running Active Directory Services is called domain controller. Means here, in this local server, where you have installed Windows Server 2022, if you install Active Directory Domain Services, that will become domain controller. Until you install Active Directory Domain Server, this is called, dom this is called local server. Any computer where you have installed any server operating system is called local server. After installing Active Directory, it will become domain controller, right? So this one, and once you install Active Directory Domain Services, one centralized database will be created. The database location will be Active Directory Database AD Database Location will be C drive slash windows slash NTDS C drive slash windows slash NTDS C drive slash windows slash NTDS sorry syswall so these three folder will be created in this location right and here this location here first NTDS will store user related information once you install active directory you can install you can create active directory users that user can be login in client vc okay so user related information will be stored in first ntds that is ntds.dit and second ntds will store log file if any services you install in your computer in your server so what log file will be generated okay and later in this uh, you know series uh, we are going to discuss about this log file and uh, monitoring how to do so right now i am not going to discuss more about log file just you understand here here in this folder that will be hidden even you cannot see the same location and uh, the third one uh, sys wall folder here the permission whatever permission you apply on the user a group or uh, group policy whatever permission that permission is stored in this particular folder so therefore after installing active directory domains after installing active directory domain controller uh, what this centralized database will be created in this particular location you can go and you can check it okay so once i'll install active directory i would show you the same location and these folders will be listed here the first ntds folder will be listed second will be hidden and this wall you can see so uh, ntds full name is new technology directory services and this wall is a system volume okay so this location this is called centralized database okay so now uh, let's discuss about what is active directory the definition of active directory so active directory is a centralized database you can say why because everything we have understand right now uh, means active directory once installed in server operating system that will become domain controller and after installing active directory in this active directory we can create user group object and if you can join this computer everything means it will work as a centralized database right a centralized database location also i have shown you right so now you should able to discuss you should able to define what is active directory okay so what is active directory question is 
so anyone of you can okay uh, active directory active directory is a centralized database where we can create any user active directory users groups computer or any active directory object related information once you install active directory a database will be created in the particular location and the database will store users log file and permissions policy right so this is active directory active directory is a centralized database right so this is active directory and now the prerequisite to install active directory earlier we have discussed about what server operating system should be any server operating system you can install active directory and means window 10 i have question window 10 can you install active directory no on top of window 10 we cannot only server operating system we on top of server operating system platform only you can install active directory so prerequisite is static ip server operating system right and ntfs partition should be required if you have created partition in your hard disk drive that should be formatted with ntfs so therefore so only you can install active directory domain services if you have formatted with fat you cannot install active directory domain services because this location this database will not store in the fat file system okay so this is active directory and once you install active directory right during the installation we have lot of stuff to understand about functional level about dsrm once you install active directory it will ask the dsrm and also it will ask whether you want to configure dns in the same machine or if you have separate machine for dns server right so each and everything one by one you will be getting during the installation and step by step you will understand and later because don't worry about dns and uh, functional level because you will have separate session for that okay so in coming days you will have good idea so let me open windows server 2022 this is a vmware workstation where i have installed windows server 2022 right and uh, here I'm going to install Active Directory. So the prerequisite to install Active Directory is first the static IP should be configured, should be assigned. So let me assign a static IP. Just go and type ncpa.cpl and you have to assign a static IP. The same IP which I have shown you topology 10.0.0.0.1 uh, that I'm going to assign over here. So you can see here TCP IP version 4 and uh, static IP 10.0.0.1 and here 10.0.0.1 right and uh, then what need to do uh, if you have doubt so you can disable and enable this particular LAN because this should function properly so I have disable and enable okay so okay and uh, now what we need to do you just open server manager and the server role you will get in manage so add role and feature you can click here or direct you just go to manage and add role and features here and click on next next 
रोल बेस इंस्टॉलेशन ऑलवेज मोस्ट ऑफ जो मोस्ट ऑफ सर्विसेस रोल फीचर्स एवरीथिंग विल बी रोल ओनली सम फीचर्स पर्पस वी कम टू दिस रिमोट बेस ओके ओनली रिमोट डेस्कटॉप सेशन एंड सम अदर सर्विसेस ओनली अदरवाइज रेस्ट ऑफ ऑल ओनली हैव टू गो रोल बेस सो जस्ट यू क्लिक नेक्स्ट एंड दिस इज आवर आईपी एंड सर्वर नेम क्लिक नेक्स्ट एंड हियर you have to select the role there are different role you can see so right now our task is active directory domain services so you can see here active directory domain services right and click on next 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 and restart after this okay complete installation and just click to install so what is going to happen is going to install the active directory and after that we need to promote this active directory to domain services domain controller okay because this is not centralized database it still is not going to store the particular database location what i have shown you right c drive windows ntds this is only uh, what is happening now it's installing only services and later what we are going to is step number 2 that is the step number 1 what you have to do step number 1 prerequisite you have fulfill right static ip right and then uh, you have seen that uh, ntfs partition then started installation that is step number 2 and step number 3 we have to promote this active directory to domain controller at that time you have to uh, check the dns and domain name is specific domain name you have to assign and you have to contact with this services so it takes some time to install active directory and then uh, so let me pause the video we'll have discussion and then i'll come once install this okay so you can see uh, this active directory has been installed and now what you have to do uh, let me close this i will not promote you will have option here to promote this uh, service to domain controller right the server to domain controller but i am not uh, you know promoting here what i will do i will close this because i want to show you here this is the notification once you install any services in this server manager in dashboard you will get this notification and three types of this uh, you know notification you will get the color yellow you can see right now so this is called means notification pending information something is pending you need to configure you need to do something right and if you red color means something happened wrong with you okay something you did mistake so that may be solve problem or not that doesn't matter and third is a gray color gray means everything fine like this color okay so this is pending let me check that here just click what is pending promote the server to domain controller so let go this just click here and now you can see here yeah this is interesting this is interesting option okay what is this this is uh, called you can see here add domain controller to an existing domain okay so guys here you have to understand what you know forest domain and tree the concept of forest domain and tree uh, this session will have separate session but uh, some discussion should be here what you know forest uh, what is domain collection of collection of computers is called domain collection of domain is called forest collection of domains is called tree a collection of trees is called forest so what we have means tree means what some branches you have you have a office and company and branches means tree okay so domain tree forest domain tree forest this is the scenario so existing forest means first uh, this is a forest suppose suppose one forest means different domain controller you can have right 
so if you have any domain controller existing domain then you can go for first option but we don't have as of now we don't have any uh, additional uh, any existing domain right so we cannot go for this option first option add a new domain to an existing forest this what existing domain and now existing forest no that is also because this machine is the first machine for our organization so this is for new forest so we are creating a new forest here so just click add new forest and just you type here the particular domain which is your organization working on right so here i am giving here my domain my domain is ishaninfo.com ishaninfo dot com it's not mandatory for trial purpose like for uh, study purpose you can give any name here your name right uh, nagraj.com smita.com okay so you can write your name and domain or if you have working if you are working in an organization the particular domain name like ms.com ibm.com infosys.com they have separate domain right so like that so domain so simple we are studying right now we are learning so you can give any name here because we are not going to connect a real domain okay okay so just click here next and yeah interesting point here uh, this is this is what uh, functional level okay this is the functional level and uh, here on the functional level uh, two types functional level we have uh, forest functional level and domain functional level so here you can see uh, the forest functional level 2016 interesting point what you know you have to understand here uh, this server in which server platform we are installing active act you know this is 2022 but in functional level you can see it still is not available 2022 means only you can see 2016 onwards right 2000 four or five level uh, you will get it here uh, 16 2012 2 12 2008 r2 and 2008 a uh, four level you will get uh, what impact this functional level actually uh we'll have separate session but uh, still i would like to explain something here uh suppose this is first server i'm installing windows server 2016 suppose you forget about 2022 okay uh, he still 2019 is not given here uh, means what you have to understand a uh, people asking you guys asking about the certification just see this is the truth here okay what uh, truth you can understand this is the reality of microsoft and real environment here you can see why because you have you don't have such option functional level 2019 and 2022 still organization using and working on 2012 2008 r2 and 2016 at last okay 2000 is still 2019 not yet upgraded okay in implemented in organization so 2022 means what this is one dream nowadays <laughs> but even is there and uh, i got from you guys acknowledgement to 2022 i am teaching you okay but what is benefit you can see you don't have such option is still in organization to configure 2022 and 2019 okay only stand alone machine you can install active directory but ne suppose here in this machine i am installing 2022 server right active directory and then next machine in my organization like other domain controller additional domain controller can be child domain controller can be that will be only i have what option we have we have 2016 only even we i don't have option to uh, install another domain controller in my organization for 2019 only i have option 2000 16 so this is the functional level will impact direct impact to other domain controller in our organization uh, in coming domain controller okay so this is first domain controller right here uh, if i explain on my slide then you will i think you will understand easily here try to understand 
uh, what I want to uh, tell you is this is our uh, domain controller this right now 2022 I am installing this right and functional level impact what you know uh, here if I give 2022 the next server in this organization that can be my additional domain controller or that can be my child domain controller right that can have option to install 2022 but right now we don't have option in functional level 2022 only we are getting 2016 2012 r2 and 2008 r2 2012 sorry and 2008 r2 okay and 2008 as well means what you need to understand here if in this platform i am installing even i am installing 2022 active directory right but in coming domain controller in our organization you have option only you can have among this server okay so you have to select here any one of these so if you have selected 2016 means other server also should be 2016 at least if you select 2012 r2 so here you have option both 2012 r2 as well as 2016 if you select 2012 here then here are, you have option in this server what you can install 2012 2012 r2 as well as 2016 so that impact other domain controller in your organization okay so I hope you got understand about the functional level. Okay, it's a very very important. Okay, so that's all. So now let's see in our machine here scenario. So 2016 according to to according to you what should be given here? 2000 here you can see I'll give 2008 then here domain what you will have option both it is all option you have other server you can have 2008 2008 r2 this but if i give here 2016 so you don't have other option in your organization other server also all should be 2016 if i give here 2012 so 2012 r2 you'll have two option 2012 r2 as well as 2016 and if i give here 2012 so you'll have option different here this right so this impact other domain controller in your organization as of now i'm just giving a 2016 okay okay fine then uh, you can see here dns about dns here dns is going to configure in this server and global catalog by default will be in functional forest level domain global catalog this is master global catalog okay that will be so these two features should be installed in same time and what about this you know this is a uh, dsrm a uh, directory services repair mode or restore mode means what if you have taken backup for your server in future something happen a disaster or any problem if you are taking if you are restoring the server that time it ask the password for dsrm so that password can be separate your domain controller what you have given active uh, sorry administrator password or can be different password here so just i am giving here uh, the same password okay and you you have option you can give different password and uh, i forgot just click here next next so i am promoting our active directory to domain controller now this is right time here is going to contract our domain controller here ishan info right so if any problem you will get such error after this otherwise if everything fine if this is the database interesting point here guys you can see c drive windows system uh, windows and uh, ntds ntds and sysvol you can see this is the database location centralized database location by default will be the system drive even you can change the location so 
next here and is going to yeah prerequisite if something problem you will get error here so it takes some time checking yes everything fine i think yes green signal everything fine then you can install that's all that's all active directory now installing so it take couple of minute and after it will reboot the server will reboot and now the server local server is going to become domain controller it's a powerful machine now and uh, and now active directory related services you can use in this server so nothing uh, we have to do now uh, it takes some time and it will reboot automatically your system okay and then it will ask domain password domain administrator not local administrator actually uh, before installing one more thing i supposed to ins uh, explain you guys uh, here let me show you omp mg mt msc i don't know is taken or not uh, because you know after installing active directory domain controller after promoting you may not get local user and group okay then you will get only domain user and before installing uh, what you will have option local user and group uh, okay and there is a sam security account security security account manager which disable your local uh, user and group and it will promote domain administrator so i think it has taken already hmm. no it won't take now okay I did delay actually I should have shown you earlier no problem in uh, coming other session I will show you before installing and you will have idea about like uh, computer manager local user and group right control panel you can see or uh, direct computer management you can see local user and group but once you promote active directory now see now no it's gone now will not have option because it's promoted completely now it's become a domain controller your this uh, local server is become domain controller now it is going to reboot and then yes automatically it will reboot and now you are going to get domain controller domain administrator okay take some time okay we should wait in server if you promoting active directory domain controller you should have 8 gb ram uh, minimum 4 gb ram then it will work uh properly okay and in this server which i have created is a 2 gb ram therefore it's taking much time okay so don't worry next uh, server i will configure and i will assign uh, 4 gb ram minimum because from which laptop i am giving you training this is uh, 16 gb ram so easily i can make 4 gb 4 gb uh, into 3 server and therefore it's taking too much time okay so at last I have to stop this. So you can see at last uh, Active Directory promoted. Uh, you can see now here. Yeah. 
here domain administrator you can see uh, ishan info is the ishan info.com is our domain right and uh, here administrator uh, whether it's uh, yeah okay so here and now uh, let me show you all the credential here after installing active directory and promoting active directory domain services so now you will get uh, active directory related stuff and uh, the location i would like to show you my computer c drive and here c drive windows and in this window you'll get ntds just i'll type ntds you can see here ntds okay so this is the database here so whatever user and related stuff you are going to do in this server everything will store database here centralized database okay this is encrypted and another is syswall so syswall you can see syswall this is one okay so this is the database here guys uh, you can see this is the database c window syswall right okay and now here i'll go tools and you can see active directory related all stuff has appear here right so now i want to show you active directory users and computer and what about our domain so let me show you our domain that is ishaninfo.com here you can see uh, this my comp here the computer management now you cannot see local user and group okay because we have promoted domain controller and ishan info the, there are lot of stuff actually and lot of confusion this is first session no? uh, about domain controller and domain so it takes some time for you guys like a couple of uh, session uh, three four session then you will understand about the domain controller at last uh, you know after finishing this root the domain controller additional domain controller child domain controller read only domain control then we'll have a separate session for complete uh, real time scenario for domain controller then you'll get idea okay and here you can see ishaninfo.com and this is the active directory object here you if you want to create a user and group you want to join computer everything will be here so in coming session next session we are going to uh, learn about the how to create user and group and how to add user to group and how to join computer into this how to log in user to the client machine everything we are going to do okay today just our task was what to install active directory and uh, you know what is active directory so what is active directory i hope you got understand active directory is a centralized database affair store all users and related stuff right it's centralized database because domain required for registered domain and uh, all client users all users computers everything is stored in the server so therefore we are saying it's a centralized database okay so that's all guys so i'm going to stop the session stop the recording then we'll have continued discussion so thank you so much